Spencer Torkelson joins us now. Every kid Spencer that's ever played any sport imagines what it would be like to hear their name called first, even if you knew it was coming. When it happens, describe for me what that what that moment's like when it's real. To be honest with you, I didn't know it was happening. <laughs> it, uh, I didn't get a call, and it, I heard my name, and you know I. I can't remember ever crying out of just pure excitement in my life, but I, I think I might have shed a tear or two, I'm not gonna lie. But it's it's an unreal feeling, and um, it's a feeling I'll never, never forget, that's for sure. And it's just the beginning, and I wanna look forward, but before we do that, I, I wanna look back. We did a thing on this show, Spencer, after everything shut down, about seasons that ended. We called it senior night for all the different people around the country who had their seasons just end out of nowhere. And it sucked for everybody. But for a guy like you, you're gonna, you got records you're gonna set for sure and a chance to have one last ride with your guys. How, what was the most difficult part about not being able to finish this year with your team? You know, you're right, it, it totally sucked. And uh, you know, you gotta look at the big, bigger picture and our world needed you know, everyone to kind of shut things down, take a step back and figure ourselves out and get healthy again. But uh, I think the hardest part for me was seeing my teammates that worked, you know, three years to get to this year. Um, I had a great freshman year, great sophomore year, but guys that were still developing and turning into great players this year that get, didn't get that opportunity to truly show that. And that, that breaks my heart for them. And um, just, uh, you know, it could have been a great year and, you know, should have, could have, would have, but yeah. Sure. I mean, I, I think a lot of people are, are, are always going to wonder about what didn't happen. But for you, as we now look forward and maybe look, these last few months are instructive that it's silly to to put any plans in pen because you never know. But it, as you look forward and you have kind of a hope of how it goes and what the path looks like and and when you get there, what what's the hope and the plan in your mind for what it looks like to get to the big leagues? You know, I've always always prided myself on work ethic and working hard and you know kind of just doing whatever it takes to get to the big leagues and to be a star in the big leagues so um to be honest i don't have a def definite answer for you but i'm gonna do whatever it takes so uh that i guess that's my answer fair do enough whatever it, takes. Well, it, it was interesting to hear you were you were introduced as a third baseman and obviously there's you know first base third base whatever like in your mind mm -hmm. i mean is is there a preference is that is that where you hope to start i mean just give me an idea of what that looks like short term no being selected as a third baseman doesn't surprise me you know uh, also again I pride myself on just being a baseball player um, I said this before it was just like you know you're not playing in the backyard wolf a ball just you know defining yourself as a first baseman defining yourself as a left fielder or something like that you know you play everywhere and baseball players play everywhere and winners will do anything for the team to win if if the Detroit Tigers want me at third base to win and that's the best opportunity for our team to win, you know, that's what that's what I'm going to do. Can you mentally put yourself in that moment where you hear your name and you 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 walk up and you, you know, adjust the batting helmet and you, you know, grab, rub your spikes against the dirt like can you mentally put yourself in the box that moment when it's real and and here you are? I'm going to do my best, but yeah, I I it doesn't you can't really fully put your, you know, wrap your head around it until you actually get there. Sure. I, re I realized. But for right, just right now in this moment with the people that have been with you along the way as this journey really gets exciting, what's this night like? What's, what, how do you say thanks? What do you do? It, it's so incredible. I got a lot of family friends, past old teammates, you know, just family friends, everyone that's been in my life, coaches um, over at my house outside all hanging out. And, uh, you know, it's, you just got to thank him. You give him a little fist bump, a little elbow, uh, <laughs> say thank you because, you know, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here without them, you know, and it, I just broke, it just, I think it, it brought me to tears seeing my mom and dad hug each other after I got selected and just start bawling in each other's arms. It was because they, they sacrificed their whole entire life for this and, you know, to, to put, give them their dream is, and to do my dream, it's, it's incredible. It's a hell of a way to pay him back. Get, go, go, go spend the night with them and, and, and show them the love and the say thanks the best way you can by being present, not uh, spending the night here with, the, with me talking away, man. Congratulations. The numbers speak for themselves. You got star written all over you, man. Enjoy the journey and good luck, all right?
Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.